everyone and welcome back to City Engine TV and my very first episode of Tasha's City Engine show. Very aptly named, I think it's pretty clear what this is all about. Uh, I really hope you like what, um, what I've done here. I've tried to listen to, um, to your feedback and, and suggestions for, for this show, so I really hope that you feel that, um, that I'm incorporating those, um, those tips of yours. And uh, yeah, I really hope this is going to be your show. So I want to show things like your user stories and um, answer some of your questions about City Engine and things uh, like that. So thanks for joining me today. And yeah, I hope you enjoy the show. My user story of the week is Transport Fever 2. We're getting pretty excited about it here, and you really should as well. If you're into simulation games, or specifically transport simulation games, um, then this is probably something for you. Actually, you should even go and check out Transport Fever 1, and amp yourself up and get excited for um, yeah, Transport Fever 2 that's coming out uh, at some point in Q4 this year. So what's this got to do with City Engine? Well, I'm not going to award you any points for guessing what software was used in creating Transport Fever 2. Um, actually, Urban Studios, one of our Esri partners, were contracted to make the buildings for this game. Urban Studios specialise in procedural modelling and 3D buildings, um, so it really only makes sense that they were asked to do something like this. So go and check out Urban Studio's webpage. Uh, I'm going to put the link in the description box down below. And also make sure you download Transport Fever 2 when it comes out later this year. And if you have your own user story that you would like me to feature um, in an upcoming episode, then feel free to email me uh, in the email address that's going to be somewhere here. And that obviously I'll also link below. My news of the week. Well, City Engine 2019.1 will be available in October. And um, there's a couple of new things coming here. One is that we have a new logo. That's it. We have a new logo. No, uh, we have a new logo, which looks pretty cool. Um, I mean, the other one was already cool, but this is obviously even better. But one of the things that everyone's most excited about are the guides. Um, so that's going to really help you to design and to draw. Um, with the drawing tools in the engine. Congratulations to Scanline VFX for winning an Emmy for Game of Thrones Season 8 for Best Visual Effects. Uh, really great job. And um, yeah, just quietly, we're pretty proud that City Engine also played a part in that. Our team here in Zurich is still growing what feels like exponentially, so we need more space and we added another floor to our office. My rule of the week are simple stairs. Um, so I feel like that's going to be really helpful for a lot of you out there um, when it comes to stair creation. I'm probably looking forward to this segment the most. Uh, this is my essentially ask me anything segment, but so you can ask me any questions that you have about City Engine and I will do my best to answer them um, in a future episode. One question that I've gotten already is that people want to know how to set the center pivot for an object. So you want to set the center of an object and rotate it around its center. And so I kind of have a little bit of a follow up question, I guess, for that. And that is, is it a static model? If it is a static model, then we have this handy thing in the inspector on the right where you can set a bunch of different object attributes, including the center. And if you'd like me to answer your questions in a future episode, then reach out on social media using the hashtag CityEngineers or ask the question on GeoNet and we'll get back to you. Thanks for joining me today on this first episode of Tasha's City Engine Show. I'll put the links to everything that I've mentioned now in this episode uh, in the description box below. And as you can see too, I've brought the t-shirts back. So if you want to send me a t-shirt that I can wear in a future episode, uh, then feel free to do so and send it to the following address that again, I will post somewhere here and also definitely in the description box below. All right, see you next week. 
Bye. I really hope that you enjoy this new... Sh uh, hello everyone and... No. <laughs> hello everyone and welcome back. What am I doing with my hands? Thanks for joining me today, and I hope you like what we've got. That's a dumb way to end it. So, uh, came specifically, uh, so what's that got to do with CCA?